Hello friends, this is Mansi from Imitati George N. Now we are starting with exercise 5.6. This is question number 1. So in this question we have name the types of following triangles. So you have a statement given in which you have told about triangles. You have to judge that this is which triangle is. When we discussed the chapter ka introduction, we have discussed the type of triangles. अब टाइप ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स हमारे दो टाइप्स हो सकते हैं एक तो एंगल की हेल्प से जिसमें हम बताते हैं एक्यूट है राइट एंगल है ऑब्ट्यूज है एंड सो ऑन सिमिलरली एक होता है साइड्स की तरह जैसे कि स्केलिन है आइसोसेलेस है इक्विलेटरल है तो यहां पे हमें पहले ये देखना पड़ेगा कि गिवन क्या है उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम जज करेंगे कि कौन से टाइप का ट्रायंगल है द फर्स्ट वन इज Triangle with length of side 7 cm, 8 cm and 9 cm. So, here you have triangle ki three sides given. Hai. 7, 8, 9. So, three sides are different. Hai. Just triangle ki three sides are different. That is a scaling triangle. Now, before doing this question, I would ask you to go and check out the introduction. So, that you have the basic hai concept. Se wo Okay, so यहाँ पे हमें पता चल गया कि ये scalene triangle है. Reason being कि इसकी सारी जो sides है वो different है. अगर तीनों sides अलग है तो वो एक scalene triangle होता है. Okay, so this was the first part. Let's come to the next part. Now coming to the B part. Next part में हमारे पास है triangle ABC. अब उन्होंने बताया कि एक triangle है triangle ABC. Let's suppose ये triangle है. Let's name it A. B and C. अब इसमें AB is 8.7 cm. सेंटीमीटर मतलब ये साइड हमें गिवन है 8.7 cm. Then AC equals to 7 cm means this side is 7 cm. BC equals to 6 cm. So हम देख सकते हैं हमें अगेन तीनों साइड्स गिवन है बट तीनों साइड्स ही डिफरेंट है. One is 6, 7 and the other one is 8.7. So this means Again, three sides different is so it is a scaling triangle. So again, this will be scaling triangle because all the sides are different. Okay. So this was our part number B. Let's come to the next part. Now coming to the next part. Now we have a triangle PQR such that PQ equals to QR equals to PR equals to 5 cm. So, we triangle PQR given. Hai. Let's suppose this is triangle PQR. And this we have given hai PQ equal hai QR ke, equal hai PR. We have given sides equal hai and they are equal to 5 cm. We have given sides hamari 5 cm. Ki Since all the three sides are equal, so this is an Equilateral triangle. Just me, three sides equal hoti hai. Wo hota hai hamara equilateral triangle. Okay, so this is the C part. Let's come to the next part. Now coming to the next part, which says triangle DEF with measure of angle D equals to 90 degree. Ab yaha pe hume kuch bhi nahi given. Sirf ek angle given hai. But wo angle 90 degree that 90 degree angle means right angle right 90 degree hota hai right angle so agar aapke paas is tarah se koi triangle hai jisme angle d aapke paas 90 degree hai and let's name it ef so d d e f mein angle d is 90 degree aur 90 degree hame pata hai kya hota hai right angle theek hai so this means ye ban jayega right angled Triangle because it's got eight angle 90 degrees. So this is right angled triangle. Okay, so this was our D part. Let's come to the next part. Now coming to the next part. Now we have triangle XYZ with measure of angle Y equals to 90 degrees. So the triangle XYZ is just now for eight angle. 90 degree given hai. So it is sure ki ye ek right angle triangle hoga. But is me aage bhi given hai. And x, y equals to y, z. So agar hum yaha pe ek triangle construct karte hai. Let's suppose ye triangle hai jis me hume pata hai y hamara 90 degree hai. So 
This can be x, y, z. And it is given ki x, y means this side is equals to y, z. Matlab x, y or y, z equal hai. So, yaha pe aapko do cheez hai. Ek to angle ke according ki right angle triangle ho gaya. And sides ke according. Agar do sides equal hai. To ho hota hai isosceles triangle. So, this means since aapko dono cheez hai given hai. So, we write it as isosceles right angled triangle. So this means ye ek isosceles right angle triangle hai. Right angle angle ki wajah se because 90 degree hai and isosceles because two sides are okay. So this is the E part. Let's come to the next part. Now coming to the last part. Ab hume repulse hai triangle LMN with Measure of angle L equals to 30 degree, measure of angle M equals to 70 degree and measure of angle N equals to 80 degree. So, a triangle L, M, N ke hume tino angles given hai which is 30, 70 and 80. So, tino angles we can see 90 se kam hai, 30 bhi, 70 bhi, 80 bhi. So, means tino angles acute angles hai, right? So, since agar aapke paas ek triangle ke tino angles hi acute hai, so that will become an acute angled triangle. So, this will be acute angled triangle. Okay? So, this was the F part. This was the last part of this question. So, let's come to the next question. 